Hi, I'm Lucy and I'm going to show you how to groom a horse. This is your average grooming kit and I'll show you what's inside it. First there's a dandy brush and some people also call them flick brushes. These are quite firm and a good way to recognise them is that they never have a handle. These are good for flicking off mud. And here's another one. We also have a rubber curry comb. You can use this in a circular motion to get up mud from their skin and deep fur. Then we've got two sponges and you always need more than one because one can be for the face and one can be for the body because you don't want to get them mixed up. And we've also got a sponge brush to go along with that because these are really useful to really, you know, get in places. And I've got a sweat scraper for when they're really wet after you gave them a bath. This metal curry comb is good for when you have a body brush and you get hair on it. You can just scrape it off, but you can't use this on the horse's body because it's so hard it will hurt them. Next is the body brush. This is a very small one and this is really good for stable horses just to get them all nice and clean. Then there's plastic curry combs. As you can see, there's rubber, plastic and metal. Plastic curry combs are just a good brush to get them all nice and clean when they've been in the field and got dirty. Another sort of plastic curry comb is called the magic brush. It's a bit different since there's so many bristles, but these work really well for dry mud. Then there's platting bands for if you want to plat your horse for a show, and a hoof pick, which is super important. Finally, there's a comb. You can also use a mane and tail brush, and this is for their mane and tail. So first, I'm just going to use a hoof pick, and you'll do all four feet. You can do this as soon as they come in so that there's no rocks in their hooves, but you can also do it after you ride or just before they ride if they're unstable. So you're going to run your hand down their leg and pick up the hoof. Then you're always going in a downward motion and just get out all the mud. Now when you think you're done, you can use the more bristly side and you can just flick it all the way. And then you can put the leg down. Some horses don't like this, so you have to be very careful of them and then you do all the rest of them. So second, we're gonna use our rubber curry comb, which like I said earlier, you use in the circular motion. We're gonna start at the front of our horse and go to the end of our horse, because if there's any dust, we want it to flick off their bum instead of to their face. So we'll just start by grooming them in a circular motion, going all the way down their bum. As you can see, it's brought up a lot of the dirt from her skin, but it's okay, because we'll flick that off with a flick brush. So you're just gonna go all the way around. And it's always good with your brushing that you definitely get to the where the girth is, or it can rub, and you might as well do all of their belly. And you really wanna get down to their legs as well. A lot of people think that these are a mudstone or something to get off. Don't try and groom them. They're called chestnuts and they are meant to be there, so don't worry about it. And then we'll just do her bum. And get all those grass stains there. All done. So next we're going to use a flick brush or a dandy brush. You can really use either since you only really need one in your grooming kit. But I'm just going to use this. I like home with flick brush if they've got longer bristles and I think these ones work a bit better. So if your horse is quite young you might want to let them smell the brush first so they don't get scared of it. Then you're just going to flick away all that dirt that you've got off with the rubber curry cane. And another thing to remember with flick and dandy brushes is you wouldn't use them on a clipped horse since when they're clipped you're basically brushing their skin and these are quite firm. So next we're going to use our body brush and I've also got my metal curry comb at the ready to clean it so it doesn't get dirty every few goes. So starting at the neck again and a good thing with body brushes is you can use them on a clipped horse because they're really soft. You can also go all the way down the legs, it won't agitate them. And these are good if you're desensitising a young horse since they're just really nice brushes and they're always useful in grooming kit. Now I'm just going to clean it so that when we put it back in it's all nice and clean for the next person who uses it. 
after the body brush we're going to use our plastic curry comb now like i said earlier a magic brush is basically a newer version of them so you can use both but for the sake of the video i'm going to use a plastic one and plastic curry combs are really good for dried mud and in winter you get quite a lot of that and it's actually quite satisfying because it's really easy to cut so you can just swipe over it and it comes off like that so starting on the finishing touches, we're going to do her mane and tail. And if it's really knotty like hers, you can use some detangler. Of course, most horses don't know what it's like, so you have to let them get used to it. And then you can just throw it on the mane. Then we're just going to brush with her. And you'd repeat this for the tail. And if you're going for a show, you could also plait it into buns, or you could just plait it. So a good way to keep knots out is just plaiting your horse's mane and tail. So I'm just going to add a band in now. And then your horse is ready to be ridden. And that's how you groom a horse and I think Penny did really well today.